Hello, I'm Andrew. Believe it or not, it's summer in Norfolk, last day of July. I'm setting out on a solo wild camp, exploring the eastern side of the Broads. I launched at the northern tip of Hickling Broad and headed south towards the River Thurn, with the destination of West Somerton, which, despite its name, is the most eastern part of this part of the Broads. This part of the waterways has many shallows either side of a navigable channel. Due to the depth and the weed beds in these parts, motorised and large craft need to remain in the channel. But in a kayak it is possible to venture through these waters which provides a great habitat for birds. A white crane is briefly glimpsed. A great crested grebe sits on her nest. Geez, I nearly just jumped out my skin. There were some big fish, I mean proper big fish, sticking their fins out of the water. And I thought it was a weed at first, and then when I got closer, it suddenly bolted and turned on itself. Oh my goodness, it was, uh, gave me a bit of a jump. I wonder what sort of fish they are. I'm hoping that it's gonna show up on this little tiny camera. There's another huge fin. I'm still not 100% sure, but after a little research, I'm led to believe that the fish may have been tench. This part of the broads remains relatively quiet and free from holiday boats, many of which are restricted to remain west of Potterheim because of the low bridge. I'd pass a fabulous sailing boat before turning left into the River Thurn. Hello, you alright? I paddle past the old Martham level drainage mill and the floating ferry bridge at Martham Boats before turning right down the stay at Martham. At the end of the stave, there's a back to basics campsite at Ferrygate for those wanting some simple facilities. A quiet location, just the caw of a crow announcing his departure. Turn around and head back up the boat line stave and onward towards Martham Broad. Martham Broad is a national nature reserve and prohibits access. Past West Somerton drainage mill, I approach my destination.
Somerton, that's the end of the stay and the end of this journey so far. I'm going to turn around, head back towards a wild camp. I think I spotted a couple back there towards Martham. Wow, this is a really nice little spot, isn't it? Under this oak tree on the bank, sun setting, shimmering off the river. Couldn't be more pleasant. And it didn't rain, although it did look like it was threatening. It might rain tonight. The clouds over to the north do look quite dark and ominous. But the sun's breaking through and it is a lovely evening. I think the Van Gogh Hydra looks pretty camouflaged in there. I don't think you'll be able to see that from the river. And I pulled the canoe off the water, tucked it away over there, just peeking out. Might just cover that up with the spray deck. Look at that view across the marshes. So I think the next thing to do is get changed, get out my little seat and watch the sun go down with a drink. Cheers everyone. And uh, tonight <laughs> I've got Plant Chef, smoky lentil and red pepper soup. And I've got some pasta, pretty simple food, but that'll keep the old energy going. morning beautiful sunrise bit of a windy day I'm up bright and early and I'm gonna have some pancakes I've got this ready mix here which you just add water to shake it in the uh, the container and pour it into your pan Not quite a crepe Suzette, but it will do. <laughs> it's a little bit on the small side. After that complete pancake fail, I strike camp. That's it folks, I'm all packed up, back on the water. Obviously leave no trace. And the wind's picked up, but it looks set fair for my journey home. Paddling north through Higham Sound, I'm more usually found navigating these waters in my open Canadian canoes. The wind often picks up through this channel. Today was no exception, but being in my kayak, its shape cut through the wind and waves more efficiently than my canoes, making light work of the choppy conditions.
As I returned to my start point, I had paddled a very pleasant 17.8 kilometers. Well, that's it, folks. Made it across Hickling Broad back to the start. Thanks very much for watching this video, and until next time, happy paddling.